So, moving on to the second segment of the week. As always, we're going to be covering the drop that gets posted on the PlayStation blog by Ryan Clements. So, basically what happens is every week he posts the rundown of new PlayStation titles coming to the PlayStation Store in a list he calls The Drop. What we do is go through it and pick out the most interesting ones and tell you all about the titles coming this week. So, you can find the full link to the drop post listed down below, and without further ado, here are the upcoming titles for PS4 on the week of March 14th. Danganronpa 1-2 Reload Hope's Peak Academy, home to the nation's best and brightest high school students, and your new prison. You and your classmates have been trapped here, forced into a winner-takes-all killing game. You'll have to solve the mystery of the school to survive, but be careful what you wish for. Sometimes, there's nothing more deadly than the truth. So, again, we mentioned it earlier, Danganronpa is amazing. It's great. It's so good. <laughs> um, I'll sell people on it a little bit here, because by the time this part comes out, the review should already be out, so I'll link to that down below. Check that out for the full thoughts. But, yeah, Danganronpa is a very charming game. Um, it's very... I don't know how to describe how you'd like it. If you like sort of classic adventure games or if you like visual novels or if you like anime or like the humor of a tarantino movie yeah yeah sure or even if you just like a good mystery man like it's like a scooby-doo almost in terms of figuring some stuff out yeah a lot of the um it did take a lot of crazy turns that uh didn't yeah fully... it's, it's twisty it's like the m night Shyamalan movie yeah it's it definitely does get a bit convoluted sometimes but um yeah in the best Europe way is, though yeah it's really in good. the best way yeah so uh, that's yeah. uh i think it's slightly lower than full retail price i'm not sure i think it's like 40 bucks right it's either 40 or 50 mm-hmm. but you played dang and rub on vita right yeah i played those games as they uh, came out in the u.s so like uh yeah that dang and rumpa is what well, used to be the primary reason of why you get a vita mm-hmm. next to persona 4 or something yes but, yeah, those games are just delightful in, like, every sense of the word. Or delightful as in it's really great to play them. They they have some pretty dark subject matter most yeah. of the time. Yes. But it's kind of got this humor to it, which, yeah. um, yeah, it's such a good vibe. I love playing those games. It is $40 that is checked. 40 bucks, yeah. Dude, dude, those games, man, 20 bucks a pop for each of those is yeah. such a deal, I think. Each one is about, like, 15 to 20 hours, too, depending on how fast you go through it. Yeah, I think two even might be, like, 30 almost or something like that. Yeah, so it's definitely like, a, a good uh, deal to pick up. but um, Just on that front, but also they're very well-paced. Yes, like, they are. I think buying this, you're basically buying, like, I don't know, like a really good Netflix series <laughs> or something. Basically, yeah, because what yeah. I did, I got the code. Um, codes came out, I think, March 7th, and... From that day onward, I was basically playing. It's they're split up into chapters, so I yeah, was about playing, six, right? Yeah, the first one has six in an epilogue, and I'm pretty sure it's the same for two. But yeah, I think so. I was um, basically what I was just doing was playing a chapter or two a day, and just powering through it because I was so interested and it was like hooking me the entire time just because of the mystery, mm-hmm. and it's it doesn't get boring either because it it's paced very well like you said so there's a lot of variety in what you can do there the characters there's very different personalities with each one and you can learn about them but uh yeah if you like any of the stuff that we've been saying about this check out the review or just buy the game because it's it's worth it yeah yeah like also even if you like don't like anime and stuff like i feel like the danganronpa like um story not it's just so much fun to be pulled along and see that stuff unravel that I, I really advise everyone if you have some kind of slight interest in it just check it out yeah and i mean honestly even like you just said the anime stuff is mainly the art style uh yeah it's it's like it's just a it's just a game about a class of people having some issues right <laughs> yeah like i don't know I, it's so good yeah it's very good and there's only one other notable release this week as far as the drop goes, but um, it is Styx Shards of Darkness. 
Hired for a critical mission, explore and master huge open environments as sticks, alone or in co-op with a friend. Assassinate or sneak past enemies, humans, elves, and dwarves, but also much more, fe- much more fearsome colossal creatures and experiment with a new array of lethal abilities and weapons in your goblin assassin's arsenal. I've never played sticks. Yeah, I haven't either, but people really like that first game, I think. Do you think... Uh, it's- do you think the reason people were so fond of the first game is because the PS4's launch was kind of light? Honestly, I don't think so. Because, like, it had, um, the most fondness I saw for the first sticks was from the PC crowd, who, oh, like, okay. craved for games like Deus Ex and Thief for mm-hmm. very stealth focused uh, kind of experiences. Mm-hmm. So that that's where I saw the most love for the first game. Like, it was kind of a, um, it wasn't exactly like an indie game, but it wasn't exactly a uh, AAA game. Yeah. It was that that nice middle tier, priced reasonably well. Yeah, I, those six games, uh, people like them a lot. I I need to check it out. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. I was watching the gameplay trailer. It looks really like, just environment wise, it looks very nice. Yeah. For the level it's being developed at, and, I mean, gameplay wise, I love stealth games. So if there's another stealth game that's decent and it's good and it's like reasonably priced i'm down to check it out yeah i love a good stealth game Mm -hmm. um you should play that new zelda game yeah it's like metal gear solid 5 chapter 3 yeah well we're never gonna get that so well we just did oh well (laughs) we just got it yeah (laughs) yeah also i think you may have just mentioned this but also you 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 tried to mention the dangarampa vr stuff right oh yeah did yeah um I I should just mention that that's out this week right, I think I, I think it was the past week oh past week well whatever it's uh that's out I should check that out but um yeah just just saying it's out I think it's just a recreation of the first game's uh uh trial right yes yeah it, that that looks cool I think it's been out in like uh, Asia for a while mm-hmm. but yeah uh, more VR stuff is always cool. Yeah, well, there's going to be a few more VR things coming in the next few months, right? And I'm interested to see, uh, release-wise, how they space it out and what happens at E3 this year. Because remember, at E3 last year, we got the announcement of Star Wars Battlefront VR mission, uh, right. Batman Arkham VR, and Resident Evil. So yeah, if they go the same route and do a bunch of like big AAA franchise title vr experiences again this year that would be really cool to try and sell more units yeah i think so for sure because the ps uh experience was pretty light on that stuff yeah i think the only thing they showed there was was it resident evil or was it farpoint they showed one vr thing right uh it was like it was like some like sports not sports game but like one of those feature sports things was it rigs no it wasn't rigs so that already came out but it was like it was okay going back to wind jammers and disc jam it was kind of like that thing, but for VR, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think they should have a good showing of stuff for for this year for VR. Because apparently that stuff is selling better than they expected to. No, that's always good. So, I don't know. Also, though, I don't know how you do it at um, E3 with an orchestra. <laughs> yeah. Like, is that is that going to happen? Are they going to have some guy on stage with a VR headset and also an orchestra playing with him? I mean, I, I, I hope they're... E3 again this year is exactly like last year. <laughs> it was super cool, but also I kind of wish for some more information of some of that stuff, right? Yeah, that's fair. Like, I, it's an awesome... Like, if I was there, if I had a ticket to go to that show, of course I would go. <laughs> but, but like, I, I like the PlayStation Experience kind of thing where they still talk to you. Mm-hmm. I think, but, well, I think most of the... There was a decent amount of information that came out over the next couple days of E3. Right, about right. About what they showed, it was just like their presentation was very streamlined. Yeah, it was super weird. Yeah, so. Also, remember that rumor about like possibly seeing Red Dead 2 at that show? Yeah, well, they. Was the. The reason why it got pushed, people thought it was because of the shooting, right? That that was what people thought. But also, I'm not, I'm not too sure if that ever was actually going to happen or not. <laughs> yeah. But like, well. it, it makes sense, though, because that, that was a pretty bad week. Yeah, but um, I I wonder when we're gonna see that game, cause that's apparently out in like this fall, right? Yes, I probably say we're gonna see it before E three, just cause Rockstar never really does E three. Rockstar doesn't do E three. You're right. 
But um, so, but also they announced the GTA Five remaster at Sony's E3. Yeah, but that only that just had a trailer, right? And it was just just a trailer. You're right. Yeah, so I don't know if they'd uh, show up somewhere. Maybe who knows? Maybe they go to the Microsoft thing to show it off on Scorpio. Maybe I I believe Sony actually has the marketing deal for it. Oh really? But I could see maybe maybe I'm wrong on that too. But yeah, well, like, remember last year Final Fantasy 15 was shown at the Xbox One, but PS4 only had the VR demo of it. Right. That was right. that's still not out, by the way. That VR demo thing. It's probably not going to happen. I, I see. That's what I think too. But they were kind of talking about it recently, though. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. If that's uh, Prompto's DLC, if that's the <laughs> thing, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Yeah, I don't know. I I kind of hope. Well. If that VR thing does come out, I hope it's better than what people were saying about it at E3 last year. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't it? It looked very, bad. Yeah, it did not look. Yeah. Great. Well, they um, still have to solve the issue of um, motion, right? Like body motion in VR. Cause yeah, they do. But Resident Evil Seven apparently did it pretty well for some people. Okay. So, well, I don't know. I think maybe. Also, like once you get more savvy and and have more VR experiences, you, you do get accustomed to that. Mm-hmm. And you can start doing more wild stuff. Right. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I think it also probably just depends on either the person or the game because I remember when I sh- when you showed me VR for the first time, I try. I remember I tried the original Doom and I tried Minecraft, and the only <laughs> thing that messed me up was Minecraft because yeah. of some ledge. And that oh was sure. It. Yeah. But. Yeah, so I think it. I think you were okay with probably, Doom. Yeah. Oh, okay. You also played the astronaut game, right? Which one was it? The Eve? No, it was um a drift, right? Where you're like floating in space. Yeah. As an astronaut, yeah. Yep. Was that okay for you? Yeah, I didn't okay. really have any issues playing. It was just. It might have just been because it was the first time I was playing it. But, like the fascination over. Oh yeah. Overshadowed any like discomfort, but I mm. don't remember feeling any like issues trying out vr vr is so cool man i hope it takes off yeah so i mean if they want to because giving danganronpa a vr presence is really cool so if they want to like continue and if they're doing the final fantasy one supposedly and they want to sort of give vr experiences to sell the thing that would be really cool because i could see like disney just signed the deal with square enix for marvel titles but like if they had an iron man vr thing yeah. I feel like that'd be perfect. Like, just, like, flying around, have the HUD on. That HUD is all you need, yeah, exactly. honestly. Like, give me give me that, and for the Switch to Nintendo, give me VR Metroid Prime. <laughs> yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Also, um, just mentioning about the Microsoft stuff, they're, I think the big game they're positioning for this year might be Middle Earth. Really? Well, because I think they had the marketing deal for that, right? I and don't know. they mentioned that, like, it's out on Scorpio. I think Aaron Greenberg did mention that they had the marketing deal on that one. Okay. So, I, I don't know. I, I think Microsoft is kind of weird this year in terms of, like, they're releasing a console, but they have, like, no big games out this year other than maybe Crackdown, but I still don't know if that's coming out this year. So I think that got pushed. It feels like, like it recently. got pushed, but I think they still said 2017. No, I mean, like, I think a couple of days ago I heard something that said Crackdown got pushed. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I might have to fact check that, but from what yeah. I remember, I'm pretty sure it got pushed back. Oh, that's a bummer, because they don't have Scalebound anymore, so... Yep. Rest in peace. Well, like we said, it was a very light week for the drop, just because we've had... The past few weeks have been very jam-packed ever since January, so... Yeah, just chill out this week, you know? Play some Zelda, play some Nier. I don't know. Play Danganronpa. Like, get re- yeah, play Danganronpa, get ready for Mass Effect, replay the first three or something. I don't, I don't know. Just have fun. 